Hey everyone, welcome to our, another video on how to plot points in the polar coordinate system. So I've got three new examples for you and uh, we're going to be plotting the points with the following polar coordinates. 2, 135, b is negative 3 and 3 pi over 2 and c is negative 1 comma pi over 4. Excuse the marks, I, I wrote on this before and I made a cardinal mistake. So let's start with part A. We're going 2 and 135. Remember that first number is the radius, the second number is degree. So I'm going to go ahead and plot that first, I'm going to plot the angle first. So I'm going to draw my purple line here and I'm going to draw the terminal side of 135. There's 120, here's 135. I'm going to just draw this all the way out. Now, Here's where we figure out where the point is going to be. My radius is 2, so notice you see the one radius 1, 2. The dotted lines are halves, half circles. So one radius, two radius. I found where the 2 is. I follow it around to my terminal side, and there it is. And there is the point 2, comma 135 for you to see. Now, when we get into part B here, and we look at negative 3 and 3 pi over 2, so we're going to plot negative 3 and 3 pi over 2. Now again, this angle, and I didn't mention before, it's a positive angle, so I'm going counterclockwise. So 3 pi over 2 is 270 degrees, which would be, I'm going to switch colors here, right down here. And I'm going counterclockwise to get the 270, okay, this way. Now, if I want to get negative 3, this is where you got to be careful. Normally, I would say, oh, 1, 2, 3, but that's for positive 3. If I want negative 3, I have to take an R value that's negative. I've got to go opposite, so I've got to go way up here. So there is negative 3, comma, 3 pi over 2. So be very careful on how we plot those. When you have that negative radius, it's got to be opposite of your terminal side. Okay, and I've drawn these terminal sides in red. Okay? Last one here, which would be negative 1 comma negative pi over 4. So now I have two negative angles. Okay, so I'll go ahead and draw just my initial side there. Now my terminal side is negative pi over 4, which is halfway between, which is this line right here. Okay, halfway between. So I'm going down this way, right, negative pi over 4 clockwise because the angle is negative. If I want negative 1, normally again I'm on my terminal side, I would say 1, but I don't want the terminal side. Uh, I, want, I don't want 1, I want negative 1, excuse me, so I gotta go opposite of my terminal side which is right here. There is where negative 1 comma negative pi over 4 is going to be located. So that's another example of how we can find and graph or not how to find, excuse me, how to plot points in the polar plane. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. We'll see you next time.